Hey guys, uh, it's me again. I'm gonna be doing a open box review of the Makita cordless cutout tool. Um, this is the DCZ0180Z. Um, this is for the 18 volt lithium batteries. And uh, I got it off of Amazon for uh, 114 Canadian and, and then some change. Uh, basically it's for cutting out drywall and I'm sure that there are other uses for it as well but primarily everyone knows this type of tool for drywall cutting um, so anyways I wanted to kind of do an open box I'll do a really quick one um, basically when you order this what you'll what you're expected to get um, and uh, hopefully that will either sway you to get one or sway you not to get one. Um, so just a heads up, this is, it is made in China. So just so you know, for those people that are against Chinese made manufacturing, well, you can't get this then. Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, Makita products are, are amazing and I, I don't, I think that the quality control is there, so. Um, Let's get to it. Opening it up, you get your user manual uh, or instruction manual. And it comes in English, French, and I believe Spanish. I don't know. But anyways, uh, it comes with that. So you can give that a read. They'll tell you how to use it, uh, the functionality, what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, hopefully. Uh, there is a DC-140 and that is for the 14.4 volt batteries, not the 18. So if you have battery packs that are 14.4, you want to get the DC-0140. So I am going to ignore most of this uh, manual just because uh, I think everyone should have the opportunity to read it uh, for their own sakes and for their safety. So I won't go into it too much, but they do have a pretty good um, instruction manual and they, they tend to be really good. So definitely recommend it for everyone. Um, let's take a look at what else comes in the actual box. The tool comes in the box. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And uh, taking a look at it, you can see that that's probably the on button. This is where the battery pack goes. I do have another, I, I did bring a battery pack, so I will be slapping this on. Um, it comes with a wrench. So this will, con this will do the, the chuck right here. And other than that, let's take a look. So locking chuck, so this locks the chuck, this loosens the chuck. And then you can fit your bits there. So they do give you two bits. I believe that they're both for drywalls application. So fortunately, no, unfortunately, I don't have any drywall to cut in front of me right now. So I do apologize that I can't do a product test, but this is purely a uh, product opening review. So here are your high speed cutting bits. They are identical. So you get two 1 8 drywall cutout bits. And then you have your tool, you have the wrench with stamped with which wrench you'll ever have to order again if you lose it. And then this does not come with it. This battery does not come with it. So do not expect a battery to come with this tool set. So I'm just gonna stick the battery on and I'm just gonna power it up to have an idea of what's going to be happening here. But I'm gonna tighten this chuck down because I do not wanna make a bad mistake of a flying nut. So anyways, let's take a look. Pretty good. Uh, I haven't tried it on anything, but it, it spins, so that's a good sign. Um, next thing that you probably want to take a look at is this guide here. So if you if you want to set certain depths of cutting, 
So once you put the bit in here, let's, why don't, why don't we just do that here? Just bear with me. So let's stick the bit in. Okay. And then let's tighten the bit down. Okay, so let's say that you're cutting um, drywall and you want to make sure that you don't go too far. So then you set you set your depth accordingly. Now this this doesn't have a distance. So for those that you know don't pay attention to too much detail, you want to set your depth here. So make sure that you figure out where your tip is and your your guard is and then figure out exactly how much drywall that's going to cut, okay? Because if you extend this all the way down and you got half inch drywall and you don't realize that and you put it down to, let's say, that's probably three quarters of an inch to an inch and you got stuff behind there, well, you just lost a quarter inch, um, whatever's back there. You might have cut wires, you might have cut something else that might have been important. So just a heads up. Um, I don't know. How am I going to test this? Let's test it on this. Why don't we do that? So, that's pretty good, eh? I, didn't, I know it's not drywall, but it went through that pretty good. And as you can see, I didn't put any effort in that. Once I, once I got the bit in there, I just moved up. Anyways, I hope that is clear about what you get in this product and um, I'll be doing some drywall work in the future so that is the reason why I got this. There are different bits that you can get. Um, if you go back into the manual, they'll tell you um, a whole range of bits such as multi-purpose bits. Uh, you can essentially go into, um, uh, what's it called? Ugh. Uh, plywood if you really really got the right bit you can also get um, diamond bits which will basically handle grout and um, some light ceramic um, tiles so all in all it, it seems like a pretty good choice um, unfortunately one like this is a disclaimer just because I picked this tool because I was wasn't really thinking too too much um, and I, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot but I would also recommend people to take a look at oscillating tools because their functionality may do a lot more than what this tool is limited to so heads up take a look at oscillating tools as well maybe that would be a better choice um, but nonetheless Makita does make oscillator tools and uh, they could be they could be your next tool in your toolbox so anyways i hope everyone enjoyed this uh product review and um, if you have any comments please leave them below talk to you guys later